Hi there, this is Business with Dave. In this video, I'll be telling you why you should be taking your time in creating your business. There's so many things that will be going on, so when you do it properly, it will be better for the long term. You'll be well organized, well planned, and all of this stuff will fall into place because it takes that time. Before I jump into this video, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel. You guys are awesome, and if you haven't already, do subscribe at the end of this video. It will be much appreciated. But yeah, let's jump straight into this video. So firstly, is to allow yourself proper time to research. I stress research so much in my previous videos and I'm gonna stress it again. Do your pros and cons. Do your research online. Read articles, read books, listen to podcasts, just Fill yourself up with as much knowledge as you can on the business that or business or business field you want to get into. All of this time is the most necessary time to get it all done and written down and making sure that you have the confidence and the belief that yes, this idea will work, yes, there's a business there, and yes, I could potentially make a decent living from it as well. But with that, you do need to do that research because a lot of the stuff will be theory and I think when you have something to back up that theory it will help you in your decision making and what to move forward as well. The second thing is don't rush the process and I think lots of people will resonate with this sort of point because a lot of people will have an idea and then they just jump straight into it. They wouldn't have done their research properly and they're not prepared and it all sort of falls apart and that's the thing that you want to avoid at all costs. You want to take your time. If you need to get educated, do get educated. Do do a course, get a certificate if you necessarily need it and do get your work experience as well. All of that will take time. It will take weeks, it will take months, sometimes it will take years. But if you have a great idea and you want to pursue it further and you want to create a business, yes, there's no time like the present. Yes, there are opportunities now, but there will always be other opportunities, particularly if you're creating your own business, you are in charge of your time frame, your estimate times, your planning, your phases as well. So take your time with it. Don't rush the process because the worst thing is having an idea and rushing it and it's just half baked. You don't want a half-baked idea, you want a fully baked idea. So do not rush the process, take your time, be patient, there will be opportunities always, but you just want to make sure that it's right for you at the right time, personally, business-wise, and just moving forward. The third point is educate yourself as much as you can. Yes, this sort of touches upon the second, the last point. But it's so important because you want to use the online resources, just Google everything, YouTube everything. There will be some experts already probably who have already done it in different countries or already in your city or in your country. Read them up. Do as much research as you can. See what resources they've used and what kind of packaging or ingredients and see how you can make it different for your business in your area. There are so many different niches that you could jump into as well. There's never one original idea that you have to stick to. Change it up. Make sure there's a variation. If you need it to be a variation, if you need it to be a bit more creative, do be creative in that sense as well. But do educate yourself, books, podcasts, as much resource, even getting a mentor who probably have already done it before or just asking questions, that will fill your brain up that will make sure you're educated enough to continue and push on. So don't skimp on the education. You do need to get that certificate. Do get that certificate because it's, if it's essential to your work, essential to your business, gives you credibility and reputation, then that's all plus. That is enhancing the value of your asset in terms of your business and that creates that value as well. So do not overlook that and do educate yourself as much as you can. The fourth point why you should take your time is that it's essentially you have control over your next steps. You have control over the next process, the next stage. And I think when you start up a business, it will take incremental stages where you eventually get to 
creating a product, packaging it, and selling it to the customers. All of that will take, again, time, a lot of resources, people helping as well. So do see it as that learning experience, you getting the, the grips of what it is, and you having ultimate control. So you set your own timelines, you set yourselves goals, mini milestones, ambitious goals, you are in control. And I think that's great because so many people work in so many different ways and they could work quickly, they could work slower. You find the perfect fit for you, your personality and your business and that should go to plan hopefully because ultimately this is your business. If you want to apply yourself more pressure, do do that yourself. If you apply less pressure then obviously it's the same. But do be passionate about in what you're trying to find and what you're trying to do. Because ultimately, it needs to be fun for you. It needs to be meeting a need or solving a problem for your customer. And all of that will take time. So do find where your interests are. Do find your passions as well. And then if it's like sewing, if it's like baking, see where there's a potential opportunity there and then work with it. So all of that will take time. You have control over that because there's no big boss shouting down at you and it's like, you gotta do this and do that. You are in control, you are the boss. Even if you're doing it part-time, you don't have to do it full-time. You can do it aside of your full-time work and then see how it goes. So do take your time, you're in control, you got this. And my last and final point is that you keep it authentically true to you. I don't think I could stress this enough. And again, I touch upon it on my previous point. It needs to be fun for you. You need to have a sort of passion for it, have a sort of interest in it. If it's all about making money, then you probably won't be happy at the end of if you make a certain amount because that's what you're striving for. And if that, that doesn't make you happy, then what do you do? Do you make more money and maybe be more unhappy and work more? It's a balancing act. So do find something that you enjoy. Do find something that you find passionate about and something that you could hopefully provide to the world that people will seek out and they would want your product instead of someone else or that it offers a service that is outstripping everybody else. This needs to be authentically you. This will take time because you need to find out what is it that about yourself that you can put into your business because your business is sort of a reflection of you as the business owner as the CEO, as the entrepreneur. So do have that personal touch for your business. Be that authentic self. Don't fake it till you make it because a lot of people will see through that fakery and when you start your own business, you wanna be authentic, you wanna be honest, you wanna be open and you don't wanna be just pretending that your product is better than someone else if it's not. You want to literally be better and they customers would know it and not for you to tell them. So do impress your customers with what you do, impress your customers with your story, why you're doing it, and hopefully the ingredients or whatever service you're putting together is custom made and sort of tailored towards solving a problem for the customer, because then they'll keep buying from you if it helps them. So do keep it original as much as you can, be happy with what you're doing, and yeah, just take your time. No rush, don't rush the process, educate yourself, keep it simple and short if you need to. It doesn't have to be complicated, it is your own business, you have control. So just take it and chill, do what you gotta do, I support you and hopefully it will go well. Thanks for watching this video guys, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to see those subscribers go up like always. And thank you for everyone who is continuously watching these videos and hopefully you can take some of these points and apply it to your business, whether it's a new one or an existing one. I've been Business with Dave, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.